Anytime you have to break out this tool, you should just like shoot yourself. All right, stacking up a lot of parts for the wagon. Some of these are just stuff that needs to go in the garage. Like this is for, I think it's a distributor cap for a praline. But some of the stuff I'm gonna unbox, I'm gonna organize so we could uh, get everything done today. We're gonna do the brakes. Got new calipers. I think Johnny has the wheel cylinders. So hopefully we could do, do that today and get the brakes bled. So these are the new upper control arms and ball joints. Our ball joints are ruined. They're new calipers. Hopefully these are the correct ones. Also for Valentine's Day, Johnny got me these, these True Heart lower control arms for the rear. We're gonna put these on and reverse them. So they're normally supposed to be like that. We're gonna flip them and uh, pretty much it gives the wagon a little more lift. So that's pretty dope. Love that anodized purple look. Definitely gonna be a sick build. I'm stoked. All right, now I have to put the wagon on jack stands. All right, she's up on all four jack stands. And I gotta take these wheels off. We should just do the upper control arm since we're gonna have it up. Okay, all right. Hi, Frank. Hey. <laughs> For some of you who don't know, that's my brother. He used to be a Honda kid. Then he wised up and he's like, I'm not dealing with Hondas anymore. So the car had a brand new master cylinder, but the brakes were still super spongy because they couldn't bleed them because like all, they were like seized up and I'm not too sure. The pads are not bad and the rotors aren't bad in this. No. So this is what threw me off for the 90s technology. Usually yeah. when I do calipers, there's a bolt slider pin on both sides, but Honda has like a dead pin here. Honda had a design where they put one slide, it's slide, are these called slide pins you would say? I guess. Caliper pins, pins. So that, and then you slide this down and you- And then pull out? Pull it out. Well, that's actually way better, I think. I don't think so. I think. Okay. Shout out to Rock Auto for having- The rarest caliper known to man. Such a weird car. Both of these are like the misfit Hondas that no one really they likes. They Japan. Oh yeah. Preludes? No, this car. Yeah. They yeah. called it a shuttle. Imagine getting a right-hand drive one. That nah. would be a unicorn, right? No. Actually, automatics. I wouldn't even want to have it. It's just because the parts are so hard to get. I hate that the fact that I can't just go to the store and get a part for this. It's like, let 100%. me see if I could find some guy on the internet and maybe he'll sell it to me. Yeah. Completely defeated. We could get the brake lines, but I don't have the bender and we don't have some other things. So this will continue tomorrow. That is it. Fun fact, we were woken at what, 1.20ish? Several times throughout the night. Several times with my, just my alarm going off like crazy on the Accord. Something with the security system. Johnny looked it up last night. But yeah, this this horn is so loud and I'm so sorry to all my neighbors. And that situation still hasn't been rectified from yesterday it where- It always seems to be Allie's cars that give me the biggest headaches. If, because they're all old. All three of these are old as hell. And... and yeah, yesterday wasn't our day. Both of the rear, the brake lines that go into the wheel cylinders were failed. It's Johnny's trying to figure that out. I'm gonna start taking this upper control arm out. Hate doing these freaking, taking these old cutter pins out. I guess I gotta undo this bolt and that bolt and the whole thing just drops down. Just kind of weird, never seen that before. Why? I'm just about to take this upper control arm off. This was inside the car. Like Those are the two bolts I took off over here. Yeah. So basically like on the newer Hondas where the bolt would go here through mm -hmm. the strut tire like that, they went in like this. So you have to take- That's what I was looking for originally. And I'm, like, I'm like, what? 
so this is a weird design. Well, it's like a truss brace here. So basically you bolt it through. This one's shot. But... The lift is he? <laughs> no way. It's a 1994 Integra sedan. Well, I think that's where it wants the same one. I'm just curious how much bigger it is or if it's not even and we're getting we're idiots and order the wrong shit. They don't look that much bigger. The spring rate might be still oh no hell no, look at this bottom four. Let me see. Oh, that's like two inches more. They're like identical. Well, there you go. No. Two inches and then whoa, these are heavy. And then the arms. You have so much forward rake, it's gonna be ridiculous. Hmm? You might have forward rake. Yeah, I have to get the isolators for the front. All right, got those two bolts loose. Johnny made some progress. We gotta run to AutoZone and get the, what, two, what do we need? We got flare nuts and we need bolts for the new wheel cylinders because they're all destroyed all four. All right, so what are those? Tens. I'm gonna bring them. We'll stop. We'll get grade A stainless steel, so we don't have to deal with this effort again. All right, let's make moves. We had to stop by your old shop. Yeah, this was this was my old shop before. Don't show them that though. Actually, Check no. this out. Yeah, we had to stop by my parents' house to use my dad's vice so Johnny could flare. All right, so we flared it. And we gotta flare another one. Yes. Hurry up, real quick, and go do that. Good oh. thing we live within an hour of driving. <laughs> we live pretty close to these people's house. All right, we're back. Oh. So this is the line I meticulously flared. This was the old line. You meticulously flared? I meant I meticulously bent. bent. It's kind of similar, but we'll make it work. A little bit of massaging. I don't usually work like this, guys. You always work like this. I know. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to do this line maybe on Wednesday or Thursday if the weather's good and we have time after work. Actually, you know what? So we don't let, can you throw that other flare nut on here? The... Yeah, who'd have thought that this was gonna be so difficult? Actually, I think we both thought I it would be. It would be we knew! Well, we got a lot accomplished today considering what? the struggle. Where's the other crow's feet? Crow's foot. I don't know. It's getting cold though, I'm just saying that. We got the new upper control arm semi in. We still got to do that side, but uh, the brakes are more important. The brakes are really not important. We got to do the upper. We, we really just. Now. Yeah, we do. Because it doesn't matter what to get done. I mean, it's all taken apart anyway, so we might as well do the upper control arm next. Yeah. Or suspension. So yeah. I'll just leave the car up on jacks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're not putting it back down. We just got to bleed the brakes. That's probably the most important thing. All right, we got the new brake line in. Now I tighten it up. New wheel cylinders in. But we're running out of light and we are just tired. So that's that. This car stresses me out. This car, oh, this car stresses us out. I think worse than the Prelude, but time to eat some food and uh, yeah, I'm just a disc brake kind of gal. I don't, I hate this. Anytime you have to break out this tool, you should just like shoot yourself. <laughs> so next wagon Wednesday, we'll have completed the brakes, mm -hmm. potentially have done the lower control arms and the rear suspension. Yeah, it's already there, right? Yeah, and finish our other upper control arm. But I think this is it, so. Yeah, there's no need for this thing to go anywhere. Yeah. Not like you're, you're, but you're we, wheeling anytime soon. Yeah, but we ha have Radwood coming up and that's literally almost a month away. Oh. It's six weeks away. Yeah, that's right. We right. have paid for our tickets for this to be in a show. Oof. But we got the Uber JDM point tow hook right there. Oh yeah, Johnny did that too. For when I get stuck in the woods. Well, no, I just don't trust that center point. That thing's rusty. Yeah. And the other tow points are pretty solid. So I'm like, just that's hidden. It's nice. I like it. All right. Well, be sure to hit this subscribe button right up here. And if you want to check out, check out the playlist right in this corner. And uh, 
Pretty much, you can see whatever you Thumbs want. Thumbs up, comment below, <laughs> and what's that? Share or whatever the. Yeah, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, more Wagon Wednesday drama coming right at ya.